Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. If you're going to use BSD, which BSD should you use? I don't know. There's about five, six, or seven of them out there. And I've only tried three BSDs. And I did videos on all three. I did uh, FreeBSD, GhostBSD, and OpenBSD. Now, I only did one video on OpenBSD because I couldn't get it installed. And I think it was a virtual machine problem. But I did several videos on FreeBSD and GhostBSD and I got them running and so forth. And I did several of those videos last year. And five days ago, I did a new video on GhostBSD and I kind of gave it, I made a negative comment about it in my concluding thoughts, but I was wrong. And I'm going to tell you why. And then I did a, this year I did a brand new video on FreeBSD about a month ago. So which one should you use? Which one is better? Which one is better for you? Which one is better for me? Which one do I like better? And why was I wrong about GhostBSD in my last video? So let's take a look at it. This is my YouTube channel. And you can see here, I did this video on GhostBSD five days ago and in the concluding thoughts I gave it a good review but I made a I made a negative comment about it and I was wrong and before I get to that let's just scan down and a month ago I did this video on free BSD and there's a picture of one of my cats I have two cats now this cat never comes on camera and why did I put her on the thumbnail I don't know, I just wanted to do something different. And in case you're wondering about the cat that you see on camera, because I have another cat, and sometimes when I'm making my videos, she comes and sits in front of the camera and stares into the camera, and I let her stay there. And after a few minutes, she goes away. So in case you're wondering about her, and I know I'm way off topic, right? This is it here. Linux Mint 21.3 upgrade. That's the other cat, and that's the one that likes to sit in front of the camera. And like I said, I just wanted to do a different thumbnail. That's all. But I'm off topic, right? So let's go back up. So like I said, I did this free BSD install a month ago on video. And, oops. And I did this ghost BSD install five days ago. Now the reason why I made a negative comment about that ghost BSD is because the clock was off and I couldn't get the clock working. And I fiddled around with the clock on video, on camera, in my desktop environment, and I couldn't get it working. And finally, I got the clock fixed. But then when I did a reboot, it was off again. And someone made a comment to me in my video that I forgot to select the correct time zone when I was doing my install. So off camera, I went and did another install. And there was no option to select the time zone. And then again, the clock was off. And when I fixed it and rebooted, it was off again. So I responded to the person that made the comment. And I said, I went through another install off camera. And there's no option to select the time zone. And my clock is still off. Well, anyways, I don't know what was wrong with me. Because I went through a ghost BSD last year on video. And the clock was all right. So I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyways, I realized I was wrong and I did miss a step. And I'm going to show you what I missed. So what I'm going to do is click on the video. But there's going to be no sound from it because uh, I have my sound off and I have the microphone on so you can hear me talking. And I'm going to show you where I made my mistake and why I was wrong. So let's click on my video. So here you can see I'm going through the install, selecting English. Selecting English Canada. Then I go next. Now here's where I made my mistake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's go back. So I selected English Canada. Hit next. I'm going to pause the video. So here's where I made my mistake. I selected America. And then I went and selected next. And when the person suggested to me that I made 
that I forgot to select a time zone during the install, I went and did another install off camera and I did the same mistake. <laughs> so I made a negative comment in my concluding thoughts about Ghost BSD, and I was wrong. So when you select America, hey, <laughs> open your eyes. There's a whole list here of cities. And if you scan down, you can find the city where I live, because I live in Toronto. If you scan down here, there's Toronto. You have to select your city and then select next. Ay, 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 ay. So I went through another install today. I noticed I was wrong and it worked. So let's take a look at it. And of course I went through that install off camera. And that's why I'm showing you this. And here I am. I'm in a brand new installation of Ghost BSD, which I did today off camera. And as you can see, the time is correct. I'm in Toronto. It's Thursday, March 28th. 11.11. Now I'm not going to do a whole review of Ghost BSD because I did that in my last video five days ago. So I'm not going to do that again. But I just wanted to show you that I was wrong and that if you do the install correctly, you're going to have uh, the correct time. And now I have to say to the Ghost BSD developers and to all you people who love Ghost BSD, I was wrong and I apologize. So GhostBSD is a good distribution. And like I said, I'm not going to do a review. Now in this particular install of GhostBSD, I didn't install any of my favorite programs or configuration files. The desktop environment and the programs are what it gives you. Now in the past, I did do a GhostBSD video where I installed all my favorite apps and configuration files and so forth. But today I didn't. But I could do it if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do it because I don't have time and I don't want this to be a really long video. Now this is my free BSD setup. And I know it looks the same as my Arch Linux setup and looks the same as all of my videos. So just to prove it to you, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go into Xterm. I'm going to type in NeoFetch. And there we have it. We are in free BSD. Now I didn't go into NeoFetch in uh, the Ghost BSD to show you because you could see from the wallpaper it was Ghost BSD. <laughs> and like I said in the Ghost BSD, I didn't change anything. It's just the default installation. The only thing I changed was the resolution. But in this free BSD. It has all my stuff in it. Now, I could have put all my stuff into Ghost BSD, but I didn't. So, this free BSD has all my stuff in it. It has uh, my X term, my X term configuration, and all my favorite files like LibreWolf, and so forth. And I'm not going to give you a tour of it. So, what's better? What works best for you? Ghost BSD is easier to install. It's more user friendly. And it has a GUI software center that makes it easy to find and install the apps you want to install. FreeBSD, it's harder to install, but it's not really hard. I don't think it's hard, but it is a little harder to install. And by default, it doesn't have a GUI a software center where it's easy to find and install apps. However, someone commented to me that in FreeBSD, you can download and install the same GUI software center that's in GhostBSD, but you have to go and download it and install it. So I never tried it, but FreeBSD it's more like installing Arch Linux, not exactly the same, but it's, it reminds me of installing Arch Linux. So I would say if you're more tech savvy and you like playing around in the terminal and doing things in the terminal, I would say perhaps FreeBSD might be better for you. 
maybe. But if you just want an easy install and easy to use distribution, I think GhostBSD would be better for you. But really, it's up to you. You won't really know which one is better until you try them. And if your computer has at least, at the very minimum, 8 gigs of RAM, and you have some space, fire up a virtual machine and try both of them. Because really, it's up to you which one is better. And that's it. In this video, I talked about my two videos I made on the BSDs this year, FreeBSD and GhostBSD. And I showed you that my negative comment about GhostBSD was wrong in my last video because I made a mistake during installation and I didn't notice what was right in front of my face, that you can select the city that you live in. And if you select the correct city, your clock will be set properly. So I would say GhostBSD is a really good operating system. It's easy to install, easy to use. It has a GUI software center. And I think it's fantastic. And you might want to give it a try. If you're not tech savvy and you don't like doing things in the TTY or the terminal, GhostBSD is probably your best choice. However, even though it's a good operating system, I like FreeBSD better. And the reason why is because I use Arch, by the way, and I like to install Arch the manual way in the terminal, even though I've installed Arch using their automated installer many times and I have videos on that as well. But I prefer and enjoy installing Arch the manual way. I enjoy using Arch and playing around in the terminal and fiddling around in the terminal. And for that reason, I like FreeBSD better because when I installed GhostBSD, it wasn't fun. It was boring. It was too easy. And when I install FreeBSD, it reminds me of installing Arch the manual way, even though it's not exactly the same. And for me, it's fun. You know, in the TTY, typing in the commands and setting everything. And what I like about FreeBSD, it so much reminds me of Arch. You install... I install a base system in the TTY, typing in the commands, and I think it's a bit easier to install than Arch, to tell you the truth. And I enjoyed typing in the commands and installing a base system, and then installing only the apps that I want to have, and the desktop environment I want to have. And there's no bloat. So for me, FreeBSD is more fun. I like it more. And if you ever installed Arch the manual way, and if you're using Arch, you might want to try FreeBSD. You might like it. And having said all that, yes, I prefer FreeBSD over uh, GhostBSD because it's more fun. However, GhostBSD is a very good operating system. So what does that, what does it all mean? If you want an easy to use and easy to install operating system, go with GhostBSD. If you like fiddling around in the terminal and the TTY and you want to install a base system and build it up from there, go with FreeBSD. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.